Hi everyone, Sithin here again from Perlemon Accountants and today I'm going to teach you two of the areas of accounting which are the public and private accounting in under five minutes. Before we begin, if you need any accounting help or accounting support, feel free to head over to perlemonaccountants.com. Let's begin. First, let's define, let's define private accounting and public accounting. So, private accounting means that accountants work for a single organization within its internal finance department. The important concept here is they work for a single organization. Meanwhile, Public accounting is where accountants provide services for multiple clients, which can be individuals or large corporations. To further understand this, let's give some examples. So an example of private accounting is when an accountant is directly working for, let's say, Nestle. And they work in the internal internal accounting support of the company Nestle. Going back to the definition, they usually work for the internal finance. They work for the internal finance department and only for a single organization. So that that can be an example here. For example, this accountant works under specifically under the accounts payable department. And that accountant is only working for one company. Meanwhile, in public accounting, a good example of this is an accountant working for an audit company such as PwC or PricewaterhouseCoopers. So the accountant is working for one company, right? But the clients they're handling are different clients. They can be auditing Nestle. They can be auditing Walmart. So going back to the definition, they provide services for multiple clients. So, these are the services they provide for multiple clients. So, that's the difference between private and public accounting, really. The single or multiple clients. Once again, if you need any accounting support, feel free to head over to Perlemon Accountants and we'll get in touch with you. Thanks for watching!